Now some conditioning for making our body and mind very strong. That is possible through yogic way. Yoga is controlling your mind, drifting from one thought to another, stabilizing it by holding the right choice that is really the purest thoughts and persisting by contemplating, meditating, thinking over and over again. It becomes our integral part of life, as did Buddha, as did this Fakir Pandit Yogi, Brandir Yogi, as did Vivekananda, the greatest monk from India. Now it is your turn, dear friends, you can also do that. Meditate over the noble thoughts, that is true, justice, peace, love and non-violence, kindness, compassion, honesty, integrity, humility, generosity. But you have to be physically very strong. For this you can do a lot more exercises. But in Patanjali Yoga Sutra there is some kind of postures exercises, that is stretching exercises, what the athletes do, as I do, I am a tennis player. And also by breath control, which really controls your nervous system, so that you are free from all worries and anxieties because you give place only to the purity of thoughts. So now some action, whatever little I can share with you. I am going to the ground, standing parallel with my baby Vestrom to 50cc, which is really my heartbeat, which is really my breath. This is gift from Manavatna, Dr. Jeevi Kishnareti, my Guru and God, my Gurudev, because he loves me. He loves everything I think and everything I do because he trusts me. He is my true friend. It is a spiritual inspiration that he has cared for me for the last 10 years. My whole family, there are 12 members, they are supported by him. But there is no dirt of some evils and devil's friends also. They will never help you once you are down. I become broke because I spend all money in my daughter's training as a world best tennis champion. She is still struggling because of injury. Now some action friends, enough of philosophy and my experience and my agony and pain and heartache and headache because I'm a dreamer, I dream big, I spend every penny, I spend a lot of years, I established a club tennis ashram in because I thought I can make my daughter myself a great champion because you can only make you what you want. Like I am a now adventure rider. Nobody helped me. Just I got some tips on the YouTube from my best friends, Andro, Bodrov and so many great people. But it's me who practice and practice and practice. A club means personal initiative, perseverance, persistence, patiently striving, seeking and finding different ways and means to realize your dream and those who dreams and desires and aspires with full measure of devotion and passion, with faith and self-belief, they really go, get it what they dream and desire. It's your willpower, it's your determination. You can conquer a space and time, you can bring even heaven on earth. Now some action friends, not teaching you too much because you know better than me, you are far greater than me. I am nothing but a beginner but there are a lot more friends who do not know the language I am talking. If they are interested they can learn some here and there some philosophy and thoughts. Just right in front of you with my baby Viestro. Dear friends, I'm in 60s, but look at me. From here and there some fats are there, but I will burn it. Because if you want to be fit, the first thing is you have to be very disciplined. You have not to eat everything just to satisfy your test. Rather you have to go to a dietitian and he or she will suggest you, as per your consumption of calories, what are the required diets, what are the other things and items the protein, the carbohydrates, the vitamins and all. That is very, very important. You should eat only, just like my baby Vestrom consumes that much only petrol and gas as per requirements. It is not uh, devouring all because that will be the sickness of this body. So man should not be sick of brutiny or some kind of evils because if you go for all nonsense, lot of sugar, lot of ghee, lot of oil, lot of nonsense, you will never be fit any time in your life. I know some of the glutinous people who want to be fit, but they are never controlling their diet, so they are very obey, obesity, and a lot of diseases comes, you know, because if you are supplying too much input, your body weight becomes increased, you become very heavy, and then every system of your body has to work very hard. 
your heart has to work hard because it supplies blood with nutrition and oxygen to every organ, tissues and cells, heart will fail. Sugar problem will come because your insulin secretion become dampened and then you cannot be consuming the real sugar, but they do a lot of sugar. They eat a lot of sweets, they eat a lot of uh, biscuits, pastries, cakes, burgers and all this stuff, pizza, you know, they are not really very fine food for you, they are not really the source of fuel for you. So, as I am an expert in yoga and naturopathy, we depend more on vegetables, vegetarian food. We also depend on some fruits and salads and plenty of water because our body is composed of all these five elements. Air, that is oxygen, then comes water, 70% is water and then comes nutrition that comes by taking some cereals that should be raw, not very fine or refined. Solar radiation, as I am in the sun, you will say, why I am this naked man? I am absorbing solar radiation. This gives us vitamin D. So free, in the early in the morning, it is quite good. Ultraviolet light is not coming to burn me. And then comes sound sleep. Now the factor is, who will have sound sleep? The person who is peaceful, who loves all, who cares for all, maintain a very harmonious and symmetrical relationship with everyone, he will have no enemy, so he can have peace of mind while he, when he go to the bed. Means he has sown the right seed of purity of thoughts. So he is peaceful, he will enjoy sound sleep. He can be only happy who is pure in mind. All these Patanjali Yoga Sutra has taught, Yama, Niyama. Ahinsa, Satya, Astya, Brahmacharya. Non-violence, truthfulness, non-stealing. Celibacy means control of sexual urge and not taking anything free from anyone. These are the fundamentals, so I do that. Then comes Niyama, how you follow and govern your life. You have to be very pure. Thought, word and action, very pure. Then comes the second stage, is contented. I have my Suzuki VSTOM 250, 650, 800 D, 1050. And also I have BMW R 1250 GS. But I'm contented, I'm not going for some Hayabusa and all these bikes because I'm an adventure rider. I am contented, but it is enough. It has invested some like one crore rupees in my adventure bike, and all these gifts of my Guru Dev Dr. Jimmy Kishan Reddy. So that is very important. You have to be contented, and whatever you dream and desire in life, you have to work hard. Without hard work, you can't achieve anything in earth, because there is no such reality is something for nothing. You have to pay the proper fitting price so that the balancing act is there. The input output has to be balanced. So that is very very important. That is called perseverance, tapasha. Then swadhyaya. You have to be really having personal motive, personal initiative, burning, consuming obsession packed with tremendous belief and faith. That will drive you. You can achieve anything and everything. My best friend Andrew Carnegie, all these greats, modern time, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs is no more. These people are self-made. They started everything in the garage. And they become the richest man on earth. So if you have a burning desire, consuming obsession, you want something, it is not just hope and wish, you can become rich and famous. You can get it. You have to give service. You have to be skillful. You have to be productive and creative. Then you are going to get honor, respect, pride, and all these returns will come to you. Sowing and reaping, law of compensation. Absolute law of cause and effect is always dominant. It can never deviate, it can never. Nature, we are the children of the universe, nature. The trees and the stars in the right to be here. So that is my request. Be very pure, be very sincere, be very hardworking, and control your mind, control your tongue. The tongue is nothing, it is just in the mind, the nervous system. You should know what you eat, how much you avoid, but plenty of water, plenty of oxygen, a lot of vegetables and salad, and sound sleep and sun release. Next video will be some other idea. Thank you viewers.